What's up, nerds? Okay, as I was saying in the last episode, what freaks me out is that... So, like, I see through my eyes, right? Mm -hmm. And I am perceiving things right now as they are. Yes. It is weird to me because, like, when I see other people and I see their eyes, it's like, that's kind of fucking freaky that, like, they are doing that exact same thing. To me, it mind fucks me that, like, other people see, like, the way that I see, but they can't see exactly what I'm seeing at all times. So, like, your perspective is completely different than mine. Right. Because you're looking at your monitor, I'm looking at my TV and my monitors uh -huh. and et cetera, et cetera. It's so, like we have two completely different perspectives. And then when you like drive on the highway, it's like, oh my God, all of these people are perceiving this right now. It, it, it freaks me out. I don't understand it. I don't understand why that freaks you out either. It, it's just so crazy to me. Cause like, I went all my life being like, you know what main character energy is? Or like when oh, people have yes. like main character syndrome or you know what I mean? Like yeah, they yeah. think the world revolves around them and it's like yeah. because they yep. perceive the world the way that they do. Yeah. I had that for the longest time because I went throughout life being like, oh, well, it's all about me because that's the only thing I can perceive. So obviously it's about me. And then as I grew up, I'm like, oh, my God, other people have other experiences. Oh, my God, everyone else simultaneously has main character syndrome without admitting it. See, yeah, I can't say that. Like, as I've grown up, I uh, or yeah, as I've gotten older, as I've never really grown up. <laughs> As I've gotten older, I've, I've kind of realized, like, I, I don't feel like the main character anymore. I feel like I'm just an NPC in somebody else's main story. But that's weird, though. I don't... I can't understand how you would be able to do that. Because, like, I get, like, if you're so drained, that happens. But I also don't understand how if you're perceiving the world in first person then how are you able to put that shit away and become a side character to your own story? You know what I mean? Uh, it's, um... It, 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 there's, it has a lot to do with self-confidence. Yeah. And I have basically none. Like, of course, there's certain things that I do have some self-confidence in. Luckily. Huh! He just fucking... I played golf. Skipped your shit. I played... No, I hit him up in the air. Uh oh I just played golf. That was kind of cool. Anyways, continue. Uh, like, singing, I probably am, am more confident in my, in my singing than I probably should be. Um, but yeah, I get that. If I had zero self self confidence in, then I I wouldn't know what to do with myself. Yeah. At that point, like, what are you doing? You just gotta right, you gotta exactly. refine purpose and right. Figure out what you want to do with life and all sorts of stuff. That's what kind of sucks when people tell me about, like, the trauma they've experienced. I'm like, oh my god, you went through that. And I feel really bad. And to me, it's just life. That's just life. Yeah. Because people, people tell me all the time, like, you know about all my medical issues. Mm-hmm. People tell me all the time how they feel bad and stuff. I'm like, well, I mean, it is what it is. I think it, for someone like you that exists in a perpetual state of that way, it's kind of more disingenuous to say, oh my god, I feel bad for you, than being like, dude, that's badass that you're like continuing on despite that. Mm -hmm. And like, 
if they keep mentioning it, I think it makes you feel worse, right? It does. Yeah, so like, just treat you like a normal person. Because you are a normal just, person. If, if I bring it up, then I bring it up. You know, that's, yeah. that's one thing. But, but you have the right to do so. Right. It's my shit. Yeah. But for us, it's like, why would we constantly remind you of the shit that you feel or go through? That's kind of shitty. And and most people don't. Um, I can't. I, I I can't honestly really think of anybody who who does that. But like, I guess if I haven't seen somebody, if I go long stretches without seeing somebody, and they're like, "How are you doing?" I'm like. Fucking alive, aren't I? Yeah. I'm fine. I, how, how am I supposed to answer that fucking question? I'm like, well, I prevented myself from dying three times this week by going to my treatments. There we go. Uh, you know what? I should answer that the next time. What? Maybe that stop fucking ask me that shit. <laughs> yeah, that's fair, yeah. Well, I'm not dead. Right. My uh, friend told me, because he's like a phone rep, he said uh -huh. when customers ask him, or like they say, wow, you look so enthused this morning, because like he has to wake up, and yeah. he just feels like shit. He's just going to be like, well, I feel I numb. This morning. No, just, I feel numb. I feel nothing. Yeah. And just like make it super depressing. Yeah. Just to super depressing, fuck them up. Yeah. Just to yeah. fuck with them. Exactly. And I'm like, you know what? You'd probably get less customers to talk to you that way if that's what you're aiming for. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you're aiming for. Go for it. All right. Oh, it's over here. Jellyfish lady. Are you? But yeah, that's that's a real good way to screw with people. So that's like a hint. Oh, 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 oh. What, what is? This is. I think I'm a little a bit hint. over the age of 14. So. What we're supposed to do. Is summon our jellyfish? Oh. You summon your jelly. And what? Wait for it. They became one. Yeah. She opens this up. But you just opened it up. There was a seal. I don't remember which one that, or what this does. So she broke the seal. Ooh, spells consume less FP. That's actually really good for mages. Yes, she broke the seal. Now there's P everywhere. Um, oh, never mind, that's God of War. Never mind. Uh, there are jellyfishes in the sea in God of War Ragnarok. You will get to see them. They are a beautiful sight, but much, much later. Because we have to play the predecessor first. We can't not have you go through these stories. Right. All right. Um... There's a very difficult bridge coming up. Ooh, and there's a boss over here that I have to kill too. Oh, fuck. Okay. I think we have 50 minutes left in this episode. I know, right? There's some cool shit. 
to accomplish. So, the question and is... And that is, it is not one of them. Is it as difficult as the Harrison Bridge is to idiots? <laughs> Fuck, man. I hear you, you big bitch. Walking mausoleum is close. There's yeah, that. not too not too many people are gonna understand that joke unless you are yeah, local. Unless you live in Ohio. <laughs> well, I mean, it, no, it's like literally local. So. Well, yeah. I mean, they can look up the memes that we post. I suppose. You remember the um, twisted T meme? So. You mean the when the dude hit him upside the head? Yes. Yeah. That wasn't a meme. Somebody actually fucking did it. No, I know. And it I became suppose a meme. it became a meme after yes. that. So this is the bridge. It, it, it became but, several memes after that. Yeah. Uh. Yep. Right, Indiana, Indiana Jones. Yep. And uh. I don't exactly remember where yeah there it is this is probably easier without the hammer yeah there we go yep hey 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 now you're an all-star listen there's butterflies out here be careful true ah! Okay. Butterflies didn't do shit to nobody. Yeah, so, uh, that was the bridge I was talking about. I'm very surprised I remembered how to get up here. Because it took me, in my first playthrough, a good two hours for me and my cousin to figure out how the fuck to get over here. Because we didn't want to look it up. It's a wonder that people figured it out. Anyways. I know, right? Because the bridge is there, but it's fucking invisible. No. Like, there's there's some things in, um... Going. That in Earthbound. Like, if I didn't look them up, I would have just been completely lost. Yep. Sounds about right. And and that's partially because of my uh, impatience. Difficulty. Well, impatience too, but it's it. My reading comprehension, like I said, is not the greatest. Mm. Mine is, but my ADD does not care for like games to give me little tiny hints at what right. I should be doing. Right. Um, so I'm going to go down here and get the bonfire over here. And then my, we're going to go and fight Rygard. Yeah, so my, my brain is extremely ma mathematically based. Mm -hmm. And like, I can sing real well. I can carry a tune. I, I'm on time and everything. But, man, I can't write for shit. Yeah, you're not, like, artistic, quote-unquote. Yeah. Or whatever they call, like, left-brained or whatever. Yeah. So, like, whenever I try to write a song, it's very, very mathematical. Mm hmm And that's just not good. I mean, what's nice is that, like... I mean, all music is math right? It's all math. But the one difference... Where is that? Oh. The one key difference is that people that have that, like, creative touch add something to it Yeah. that makes it seem not as mathematical. Right. Right. But, like, time signatures 
Rhythms. It's all math. Sure. Notes. Still math. Um, and and it's kind of like why 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 I like Tool so much? Because they're experimental. Like they're, they're different. They have several different time signatures yeah. in one. <laughs> one song. Not not even it's just not even just one song. It's like one section of a song. <laughs> I see that you stayed. Like the drummer's doing one thing, and the guitarist is doing something completely fucking different. <laughs> And then the vocalist, fucking Maynard, is doing something else completely fucking different. Our Lord will no doubt welcome you. And somehow it all comes together and makes something beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Alright. Are you ready to see the serpent? I mean, sure. Yes. I don't... As it should be. Now, close your eyes for a moment. I will transport yeah, yeah. you to the Lord's chamber. That's that's not sketch at all. <laughs> Farewell then. May your Did I do it? Be What'd you do? I I spoke parcel tongue. Oh. Were we in the bathroom? Is that why she had to had us close our eyes? Yes. All right. Because now we're here. Literally, the only thing is going forward. We can't do anything else. Right. All right. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and take this off. Because uh, we're not going to need it. And we're not really going to need this either. But it will be useful. That is the giant serpent. It looks like a fist. It won't. And uh, the I'm dude said that he left a sword down here. Yes. We need that. Because he takes extra damage from it. That's what we're going to do. We're going to put it on. If I can fucking find it. I have so many goddamn weapons. It was I, I saw it. There it is. Okay. You want to know what's even greater? So this guy takes like 30 or 40% more damage from this specific weapon, right? Yeah. It was made to kill this thing. Right. Okay. You know our little tactic of summoning another me? Yes. Does it summon another you with another one of them swords? Yes, it does. That is broken. <laughs> and you know what's even better? What is it? Like you get like... We can buff ourselves still. Nice. Okay. So now. Dude was like in a knot. Yup. And oh okay, he's got hands. That's not That's not a snake! Yeah, it's not. Alright, serp but it said serpent, so I guess serpent it is a serpent. Yeah, I know. I'm standing in fire, dude. I know. That's why I was watching your health for you. All right. Why you just absolutely annihilate this serpent thing? Yeah. Didn't really get to see much of that one, now did you? Where's Voldemort? You'll see. It really does seem like Voldemort. Just watch. All the hands. Oh. Did we just kill one of its uh, Horcruxes? That's not gross at all.
Here, check out this awesome sword that I shoved down my throat a few millennia ago. It's got hands all over it. Round two, motherfucker. Mm. Does he still take the damage? Yes. He just takes less of it. Yeah. See? God. Die. I mean, ranged attacking is pretty cool, though. Yeah. Because he's on fire. Or he's sitting in fire. Yeah. No, buddy! So let's see. So he's a fire type? Um, I would argue a dragon as well. Yeah. He's Charmander. Fuck, he bit me. Aww. Together. Together. I don't know why he speaks like that. It's gross. Now we get to do the whole fucking fight over again. Yay. Yeah, not yay. I mean, you already got the sword this time. Now, I will trans yeah. Farewell then. Bye. Oh, you know what would be better? Well, no, no, I do not. Wearing armor. That would be kind of cool. Because it's not like I'm jumping. Wait! Might Wait. be a little bit better. Wait. I can jump. <laughs> Alright, motherfucker. I should probably save that, but whatever. Save what? The buffs? Yes. Or a specific buff? It was a specific buff, but... Um, skip. This is going to conclude you guys' this concert for the evening. Um, he has legs, too! There may be encores, but we're not sure yet. Yeah, give us like 20 minutes. Yeah. I'm sure there will be more song references throughout the night. Motherfucker! Oh. I... He was almost dead. It's three more jumps. Two to three more jumps. You bitch. Hey, so Dude, you my see... mom. No. My mom made fucking lasagna tonight. 
My mom. Sorry, what? Farewell. You made lasagna. Yes. Like homemade lasagna. It's fucking amazing. Are you eating it right now in front of me? Yes. How dare you? Good thing you can't smell it. How dare! What the fuck was that? You missed. Next. Don't look at me. Don't mind me underneath your belly. Right. Okay, now next. What are you? But, okay. Yes, come to you, me so you're you not can't. standing in fire. You can't see me. Oh, it teleports me, dicks. Ooh. Hey, so I don't think I need depth perception for this fight. No, no, it doesn't look like it. Although, although staying out of his range is, is probably helpful. Yeah, a little bit. That is not what I meant to do. Oh, my thing's gone! Yeah. Yes. Come here, bitch. Oh. Fucking Christ, running, dude. Running away. Running away. Oh, he just gave me a shit ton of skulls. Why, dude? I didn't even know you could do that. Actually, that makes a lot of sense, but fuck off! He killed my thing too fast. That's kind of where everything went wrong in that one. Yes. Now, I will transfer. Well, let me ask this. Do you need him for the first phase? Because if you don't... Maybe. You're onto something. Because then he'll last longer. Yeah. During the second phase when you really need him. Fair point, my friend. Oh, well, look, there's a commercial for the Assassin's Creed. <laughs> I don't think I need him for the first phase. No. I think that was just... bad luck. The last one? Yes. Yeah. Now, uh, kinda. It was just me being bad. In general. Farewell, then. Uh, I was just giving you the benefit of the doubt. Thank you. I definitely need it. Because I think what I can do. It's just stand next to him. But
Poorly timed dodges. Very poorly timed dodges. I'm just gonna summon my mimic because fuck it. Makes it go faster. So no, what you need to do is find the journal and then hit it with the tooth. Yeah. Now I will trans I mean that worked that worked in Harry Potter, so uh Farewell. You think it'll work here? I mean, everything else is the same, so fucking, <laughs> why not try? Fucking one shot me, dude. This is not fun anymore. This is just a matter of whether I can withstand doing this over and over again. Right. I mean, it is kind of games. Fun. I mean, games like this is all about endurance. Yeah, it really is. Endurance and skill. <laughs> I don't know about skill, but pattern recognition. Yeah, that's skill. Hello, me. You beautiful bastard. I mean, what I find funny is that... Gamers have manipulated games due to their pattern recognition since, you know, I was a wee lad playing the Atari. And then these smart ass people are like, oh, you like pattern recognition? Here you go. We're just gonna give you an entire game based on pattern recognition. No, you're so, oh my God, he's so low. Motherfucker! I just need good RNG for the mimic. That's it. That's all I need. Or. Or. I wonder if you can do this. Can you do this? Oh. Something I need to tell you. Yes. Uh, cause I think you'll, you'll find it at least entertaining. Um, so there was a WWE pay-per-view last night. Hey, sure. And apparently... Oh, I can do this. Oh my god. Apparently somebody didn't tell Cody Rhodes and Jay Uso that there was a press conference after the show. And they got high. 
Oh, nice. What preceded was probably the greatest press conference in WWE history. They were having trouble concentrating. They couldn't answer questions without giggling to themselves. <laughs> it was so funny. I'm gonna have to show you this video when we're when we're done recording, because yes, now I will transport every single Fair trope way. that you know about being high. Yeah, they did it <laughs> in this one interview. Like, Jay Uso, even, like, at the start of it, he apologized to his wife. He's like, man, I'm gonna get some shit whenever I get home. <laughs> Much better. Are you fucking kidding me? I mean, that wasn't. No. What proceeded to take place was some bullshit, but, uh, the damage is better. And you'll notice a difference once you start paying attention again. I was paying attention. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I can laugh about the dudes getting high and pay attention at the same time. It's called multitasking. Mr. Sorry, it's Sunday. <laughs> I mean, I'm watching a football game too, but... I'm barely paying attention to that because it's 28 to 10 right now. What? Supposed to drink it faster. Should have just dodged it. But did you notice a damage difference? Yes. Yeah. I already did. I told you I was paying attention. Yeah. I wonder. You know what? And I can get more if I need to, but I don't need to. I shouldn't need to. Well, I took you for no matter. Lay out your own. Oh, I don't have a sm somber smithing stone. Nine. Fuck. So that was a waste. Well. Was it? No. Okay. No. no. I was gonna try and upgrade some more, but uh, your boy don't have that, so. Yes. Now 
I will transport. I wonder if I buff myself first, Farewell. if I use the mimic after, will it get the buff? I doubt they would make it that strong. I wonder if you gave it some of this lasagna. Fuck you. Oh, it would be distracted long enough. <laughs> If it would enjoy it like I do. Oh, I used it in one hand. Fuck! Can I? Hey, what? So, we can use it in one hand, right? Yes. Or, we can use it in two hands. Uh -huh. When you use it in two hands, your strikes are more powerful. Correct. But when you're holding it in one hand and then you summon it, it only holds it in one hand. Right. So it does less damage. Yes. So but it does it faster though, right? No. No. Oh, okay. It does. Okay, dead. Thank you. Come out here. Please and thank you. Uh, I mean, it, Eat it. It's, Eat it. It's too bad that you can't heal your mimic in between. That would just be fucking busted. Yes, it would. I agree. Dude, if I'm dodging, let me dodge. God damn. Okay. Yes. Nice. All right, this weapon is useless now. Because we can't use it on anything else. The lasagna work. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> A serpent never dies. You're somewhere around here, aren't you? Or am I thinking of something else? No, I'm thinking of it right. Hold on. Uh, I'm gonna need my hammer for this. AKA Big Bonk Machine. Yeah. Because what's gonna happen? Ooh. I wanna know. What? No. If I can upgrade the Big Bonk, because. One, I would like to do that. What? Oh, it needs six smithing stone sevens. Damn. Damn. Greetings. You I don't have that. I can't purchase smithing stone sevens, can I? Fours, that's what it goes up to. Damn. Wait, what? Disney Plus is doubling their annual subscription? Sounds about right. Greedy fucks. Alright. Because they don't make enough fucking money. Mm-hmm. Alright, you ready for this? You remember how I told you to pay attention to Tanith? Sure. Yes, I do.
Is she here? She's supposed to be here. Okay, so we destroyed her Horcrux. <laughs> Something like that. Oh, I think I have to talk to them first. Either that or she's just another Horcrux. You. It's true then. You've defeated our lord. Yeah, he was a corrupted god. I must thank you. Our lord was yet weak. You have taught us that. Defeat is not the end. Our lord is immortal. And will one day rise again. Stronger. Until then. I must stay the path. And do my part. I will leave. I suggest you do the same. I will miss these encounters. The champion who walks the tainted path shines all the more. I always was an admirer. Oh, why thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, so everyone's like, holy shit, you killed him. And I'm like, yeah, I'm a badass. Yeah, but that doesn't. That seems too easy. end when he first took blasphemy onto his very flesh but any road the volcano manor is no more though we may yet fulfill an old promise we hunted our own kind and took what was theirs and with everything in hand the time has come to rise against the earth tree so he has a cool hammer too oh great mm -hmm. the re we refused where is she? Looking for Myrtle. I'm looking for Myrtle. You would think with all that moaning, she'd be easy to find. Yeah, I don't know where the fuck she went. She's in one of the rooms, I'm pretty sure. I still love that table. That's a good looking table. Now you've gone and killed I'm gonna have to get the schematics for that or some shit. I'd never be able to make it. I don't have all the tools and shit to do it. But that's like all math. I can do that. When Daddy head over heels courting Lady Blasphemy. Well, bye my friend. We're just going to teleport away. Teleport back. Forget for this. Ugh. What? Oh, there it is. Banishes distress and bitter memories. Don't know what I'm supposed to use that for. I don't know, but I feel like I could use that. <laughs> Maybe. So everybody's gone now. If I could just get rid of like the last five years, I'd be cool. Dude, where in the world? Man, we were supposed to see that that lady that we kept calling Myrtle. Yes. She's also a snake. 
Okay. Like a literal snake person. Okay. But it, we we can't, and I'm sad. So we gonna need this. He's regenerating himself. Uh, yes, but slowly. Yes. Also, what is she doing? Oh, you... Allow me some time. Our Lord's carcass is vast and not easily consumed. Yeah, Dear that's what I thought you were doing. Please, find purchase within me. I wish to be your serpent. Your family. One day, let us devour the gods together. Mm hmm. So. Oh, you need to die. Yep. Yeah. Uh. So that's what happens. Oh, and he's got wings. Yeah. He's a All right, can I, I? I need to say this now, just because, like, football. Yeah. I am thoroughly enjoying how much the Cowboys are getting their asses beat right now. Oh shit. It is. 35 to 10, and the fourth quarter just started. Bro! And I like how confident the Cowboys were that they were going to do well this year. I'm like, you haven't played anybody yet. Can you fucking get staggered, you bitch? He's like, there you go. What is with you and flying away? I want to get away. I didn't pick up my fucking runes. Oh my god. I want to fly away. Oh, touchdown. It's even worse now. <laughs> it is now 41 to 10. <laughs> Uh, I bet uh, I bet San Francisco could probably pull their starters at this point. Fuck you, bitch. All right. I gotta. All right. Now I gotta. I gotta ask my uh, my Dallas Cowboys fans if they're mentally doing okay right now. <laughs> so I lost 160,000 runes. That's okay. We will make it up. But that concludes the Volcano Manor and this episode. So I guess with that, we should ask our audience one final question. Are you ready? No. Be here. Are the Dallas Cowboy fan? <laughs> <laughs> All right, right now. We'll catch you guys uh, later. <laughs>